Welcome back to Yao Finance. Well, oil at another multi-year high today as the conflict turns uglier in Ukraine and as OPEC calls steady on output, announcing 400,000 barrels to be released in April, if they can actually even stick to that uh, amount that they can deliver amid tight supply. Here with more on all of this, let's bring in our Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery. A little bit of a surprise that they are holding steady despite a conflict in Ukraine. Well, that's right. And as you said, there's not a lot of spare capacity by some of them, although Saudi Arabia still does have a lot of Saudi uh, has a lot of spare capacity. They could increase that production if they wanted to. But 400,000 barrels uh, increase per day was expected. And that's exactly what the market got. Now, WTI crude uh, futures for April settlement just closed at one hundred ten dollars and sixty cents. Haven't seen these prices in eight years. And this is just an incredible move. I want to show a longer term chart with candlesticks here. This is a two month. Uh, this is where oil is starting to go parabolic. There's incredible backwardation in the futures uh, term structure. It means, it means there's a lot of demand for the front month contracts and not a lot for the distant month contracts. And when you, we see these excesses, and we've seen them before, I haven't seen anything like this probably since 2007, 2008, when commodities peaked in their last super cycle. When this happens, uh, you really have to be careful because we see declining open interest. That means not as many people are in the market right now and yet the price is going parabolic. So it just creates a very volatile, dangerous situation for traders. And before we get to our energy stock heat map, I just want to point out, look at all this uh, green action up here. Heating oil up 11 percent, wheat up 7 percent, Arbob gasoline futures up 7 percent. So a lot going on in this space. And let's take a look at the energy sector before we close out here. Uh, Exxon up over 2 percent, Chevron up over 3 percent, Shell up over 5 percent, Total 8 percent. So a lot of these energy majors benefiting from this rise in price. The question is, how high is it going to go and how high will it correct or how low will it correct to? All right. And we'll be watching all of it and not to mention Brent up at one hundred and twelve dollars as well.